Today, we're tackling a crucial aspect of email management in Microsoft 365. Ever found yourself frustrated by important emails landing in the spam folder? Well, worry no more. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the simple yet powerful process of adding a user's email and domain to the safe senders list in Microsoft 365's admin center's anti-spam policies. By the end of this video, you'll have the tools to ensure your important communications always reach your inbox. So grab your coffee, sit back and let's get started. So the first thing you'll need to do is sign into the Microsoft 365 Admin Center by heading over to admin.microsoft.com. Then scroll down to Admin Centers and select Security. Once you arrive in the security portal, you'll need to scroll down to email and collaboration and select policies and rules. Then select threat policies, anti-spam and anti-spam inbound policy. Then you'll need to scroll right down and select Edit Allowed and Blocked Senders and Domains. Here you'll have the ability to add or block both email addresses and domains which you've identified to be risky or safe. To ensure emails are always delivered from specific email addresses, you can add them by heading over to the Allowed section and click on Manage Senders. Then click on add senders, add your sender's email address and click on add senders, then click on done. To add a domain to the allowed domains list, click on allowed domains, then click on add domains, then enter the domain name and click add domains and click done. You can also manage the blocked senders and domains in the exact same way. I hope you found this tutorial on adding a user's email and domain to the safe senders list in Microsoft 365 helpful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below for more helpful tips and tutorials. So if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Until next time, Happy emailing.